So here's the question from Jay. He says, hi guys, I have a question about ranking videos and links. I've seen a strategy where you can create, say, 300 unique videos, optimize them and create a playlist. In the description of each video, there is a link to the previous video and unique Google shorten link. Uh, G plus link is 404. I don't know what you're talking about, Chris. Sorry. Um, that's That should be the link. So I'll click on it and see what happens. <laughs> Works for me. So not sure what you're talking about, Chris. <laughs> Anyways. Um, all right. In Optimize Them and Create a Playlist, in the description of each video, there is a link to the previous video and unique Google Shorten link, all pointing to a Google Doc. In the Doc, there is one anchor text link pointing to a website. Five videos are uploaded each day until the end of the campaign. In your opinion, would this be a good strategy to increase the rankings for a website? And also, could this be used to point the link in the Doc to a video playlist to rank videos? I'm going to let Marco answer that, but uh, it sounds like a sound strategy. What do you got to say about it, Marco? Yeah, we, we're using something very similar to this, or, or I, I've used it. Uh, if, if you can create 300 unique videos, good luck. It's a massive undertaking, especially uh, if, if you're going to do it, make sure that you do videos that are going to convert, not just spam videos. Yeah. I mean, make, make this worth your while. If you're going to put in this much time, thought, and energy into something, because the real benefit is going to come from all the traffic and and everything. All all of the benefits are from YouTube, uh, because you're doing everything in there. And so yeah, the description in each video is is, is siloing method that we teach in uh, uh, YouTube Silo Academy, isn't it? Or, or yep. I, I forget yep. which one. That's yeah. it. It's exactly what we teach. You you put a link to the next one in the description. And then, yeah, I mean, using Drive, guys, that's that's what RYS Academy is all about. That's the foundation. That's where we do all our dirty work. And so you, you're you're going in there in the belly of the beast. You're protecting yourself, and then you're feeding off of Google's narcissism, where Google, of course, is going to give preference to its videos, to its files and folders, and to its users. They say they don't, but that's bullshit. We know they do. Whether it ends up increasing the ranking of the website, I'm not sure. You'll have to test maybe the pages where, where the, the, the videos, if, if you embed the videos in individual pages, if you decide to embed, the, well, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to give away everything. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah. And, yeah, the, of course, these become perfect spam points. These become perfect, perfect spam points back to the video channel, video playlist and the videos themselves. So this looks really, really good. It, it, it's, it, and anytime you use Drive, it, it's a sound strategy. Yeah. And I want to, um, you know, agree or co-sign what Marco just said about videos that convert guys. The, the days of just using pure spam videos for traffic generation or for, well, or for conversions especially, uh, are pretty much gone. I found that, you know, you can still spam to find, to kind of test things, but they don't convert and uh, it, or the conversion rates are terrible compared to videos that are done correctly. And it's because people have become conditioned to uh, not react to spam, right? To ignore spam. And that's just, guys, that's, uh, think of, you got to think about typical internet users, not us, we're marketers, right? You know, we're so so-called experts. Right. But, uh, you know, like the typical Internet user, they're becoming more sophisticated or more savvy. Right. And so the kind of stuff that we could do three years ago and still generate good results with um, is not working so much as anymore. Now, I'm not talking about like SEO tactics. They still may work just as well or better or whatever. I'm talking about what your intended goal is. Right. If your conversion, if your whatever your conversion goal is, unless you've got a compelling message now. Uh, with a decent quality video, then a lot of the times people are going to ignore that shit and go right to the next video. And so my point is, or, you know, the next link in line, which could be a video, another Google listing, whatever. My point is, is a lot of people will uh, immediately ignore spam. Now, of course, that's not always the case, but it is, um, it's a lot more common now for that to happen. And so I take the time now to really make sure that I work on um, creating videos that are much, much higher quality, right? And so, in fact, we've got a masterclass webinar following today, uh, the Hump Day Hangouts, to make up for last week. Since we didn't have masterclass last week, Adam and I were in Dallas for the ClickFunnels event. 
and um, I'm doing a YouTube case study. I'm, that's what I'm going to be showing today, announcing that. And uh, and I'm creating and it's using the YouTube silo method and SERP space and video powerhouse. It's pretty much the two primary methods I'm going to be using for ranking these videos in this case study. And every single one of the videos in the silo that I'm creating are going to be like high production value videos. In other words, videos that I've actually, they're not spam. It's not like taking one video and just changing the file type. I'm, I'm actually recording different videos for all these different keywords in the, uh, in the silo that I'm, that I'm building out. And, and it's, yes, it takes more time, but my, my point is, is I would rather do it right the first time and have it, um, not only get the videos ranked, but have them convert so that my work is done than to go out and unless you're doing it specifically for testing purposes, I'm not even testing this niche. I, cause I'm, it's a niche that I'm in already for, uh, one of my projects that I'm working on. So I'm not even testing it. I'm just going out and I'm going to, and it's pretty competitive for some of the, I mean, it's very competitive for some of the keywords I'm going after, but that's why I'm using the silo method and I'm recording all these good videos and it's going to take me several weeks to fit, to complete this project because every one of those videos are going to be genuine videos, like original unique videos and not, just like file type or encoding unique. I'm talking about like a new script for every video, that kind of stuff. So it's gonna take a lot of time, but it's going to, um, you know, provided that I can rank it, which I'm quite sure, or rank many of the uh, keywords, which I'm quite sure that I can, um, they should convert well and they should produce a lot of traffic to the project that I'm trying to, you know, that I'm, that I'm um, pursuing right now. So my point is guys, you know, take your time, go through it. If you want to test with spam, that's great. Do it because then you can identify the low hanging fruit that you can rank for quickly and easily, but then go out and, and create or have videos created that are going to convert and with a more compelling mesh and, uh, excuse me, message. And also um, that just aren't, aren't spammy. Right. And then go back and target those keywords that you've already identified through testing. That's my point is that you, you'll get a lot more, uh, you know, I don't like rework and I don't know who, who does, <laughs> I guess the churn and burn guys do, but I, I particularly don't like to do stuff just to find out, you know, that, um, they're not converting and I have to redo it or that I get my channel terminated because it was spam. Does that make sense? So, all right, cool. That's a great question, Jay. And thanks for helping Marco. We're going to move on to the next one.